Good evening, and this is the uh, full-time match report by me. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, what can I say? The Mariners almost got the job done, but not quite. The match ended up uh, Walsall 1, Grimsby Town 1, and Abbo, where do you find these shots from? Uh, what a finish again. I have seen it, and... Uh, Again, you leave him space from 20, 30 yards out. My God, can he hit it. And uh, no goalkeeper in all the world would have saved that. Um, great goal. Um, I just have to mention the goal straight away because Abo is just, he's becoming a little bit of a gem, isn't he? You know, uh, four goals in three games. Uh, can't fault that. Although, to be fair, at the start of the game, it didn't start like that. Um, the Mariners looked um, shaky. They didn't get out of the blocks at all. Um, from what I was hearing, uh, it, for the first 10 minutes, it was all Walsall. They were pressing. They were having chances. They were um, getting in dangerous areas. Um, uh, after about 15 minutes, Town settled down, started to get into the game, started to get their foot on the ball a bit. You know, Harry and, and Gav looked like they were really, really trying to get into it, and uh, it was a it was a first half of of uh, not many clear cut chances for me either side. But you would say Walsall probably just shaded it, and they did. Uh, but the um, you know it was kind of like. Good saves by Jake Eastwood, uh, having to be alert with a lot of the, the the situations and play there, and I think that the the man is just again it's I spoke about it just not quite clicking, um, didn't really get started until until around about twenty twenty five minutes. Then it was fairly even for the rest of that half. Walsall still with the better chances. I think Eastwood still had more to do during that time and uh, in the end both uh, both teams went in level at nil nil um, and you know fairly content uh, fairly content I think with what sounded like you know more chances for wall so I think we did well to um, come out of that first half with uh, uh, with it still level in the second half uh, we came out with a much, much stronger tempo, a uh, much higher tempo. Uh, we were passing the ball around. We were putting putting the pressure on um, on Warsaw a lot more. And in uh, and in the 53rd minute, uh, from a corner routine, which Paul said in his post match, they'd they kind of they'd worked on. So it's good to see something from the training ground actually come off it was a good ball laid off and Abo again from about 30 yards smash right into the uh, center of the goal and uh, it was just um, it, it was an Abo special I think people are going to start calling this an Abo special and uh, then we started to have a a, a 10 to uh, 20 minutes spell ourselves where we kept pushing um, nothing really was coming off but we were always pressing without really troubling the goalkeeper much uh, after that although we were getting shots on target um, really pinning Walsall back a little bit but as I said if you don't if you don't uh, if you don't get that second goal, you always run the risk of being caught. The annoying thing for uh, the Mariners, uh, the Mariners today, is up until Walsall's equaliser, which came through Ryan Sturk on 81 minutes, the Mariners never looked like conceding. Um, they shielded Danny Johnson so well; he went off just after just after the hour. Um, and it was like we were, we were fairly comfortable, really, 
in the second half it was all us we kind of bombarded uh, their penalty box an 18 yard box um, and then a, a nice smooth move by uh, uh, by Walsall a good move to be fair and a good goal by uh, Ryan Sturk it, it, it did sort of ricochet and uh, fell to Sturk um, right smack bang in a six yard box and really he couldn't really miss um, and that made it 1-1 and that sort of took the that took the wind out of um, Grimsby Sales and the uh, you know and all the fans that took uh, got down there and obviously it's very difficult with rail strikes and that going on so credit to the 600 odd fans that did make their way down to Walsall um, in the end very very frustrating I think uh, a lot of us Mariners fans are, are good I was when I um, after the final whistle because I, I didn't go today if you, if you know I didn't go today so unfortunately uh, I wasn't there but uh, I was keeping tabs on, on it other ways and following the game along and uh, the times when we were getting shots on target and we did that a lot more in the second half I thought if one of these can just go in just one of them I, I think if we'd scored a second goal we'd have won that game because really for for about 40 for, for about 35 40 minutes of that game to, of that second half Warsaw didn't really give anything and I think that makes the games so much more frustrating because they, uh, you know, they didn't give an awful lot, and it was just a, a nice bit of playing and a, a ricochet that um, was unfortunate for Jake Eastwood because I thought Jake had another decent game. Uh, Harvey Rogers again, decent game. Conte not so much today. He seemed to be, he w was trying to be so attacking because uh, uh, Stuart Watkins was on commentary for uh, Radio Humberside. Uh, and he was pointing out that Conte um, should have really stayed back a little bit more um, rather than going forward, probably leaving us so open with the with the gaps at times. Uh, that'll come. Camille is only like, he's only nineteen. We've got to really appreciate that. But he's he's definitely um, he's definitely one for the future. That that is for sure. Uh, playing well. We're all playing well. Um, the team needs to do a little bit more. The team needs to do just a little bit more. Um, like I say, it's about killing off a team. And at the minute, they're just not killing teams off. And uh, I was just looking at my dog there, making sure he's okay. But um, uh, a battling point, a point that really probably should have been three, but was on, but was only one. Uh, the way I look at it as we move forward uh, a lot of positives to take from that but I think we need to be quicker with the passes on the ball though as much as I say that we need to we need to become a bit more a bit more ruthless in in our forward play because um, that's the best performance we've done in, in uh, probably this season really in regards to possession of the ball and uh, uh, shots, I think, uh, it was probably uh, the best we've been and probably the most threatening we looked. Um, obviously, uh, uh, Chris Hussey of Walsall got sent off in injury time uh, for second bookable offence. So that was a uh, uh, so that was a negative for Walsall, but. Uh, my overall opinion is it's a point on the road which is great we come back to Blundell Park next week we do have a game at home to Manchester City on the 21s in the EFL Trophy on Tuesday night that'll be a mix and match of, of players but hopefully we can uh, try and uh, knock in a couple of goals you know but uh, for me it's a good point. Disappointing not to get all three, but again, you don't want to get carried away right now. It's uh, nobody's won every single game, so 
Um, but we we need to, like I've said, we need to get uh, more confidence and uh, more ruthlessness. We need to be more ruthless. We need to be able to um, get across defenders and uh, get those easier tap-ins and things like that. We need to do that to to um, to finish teams off because really we could have beat Walsall today and probably for about 35 40 minutes like I said we should have beat Walsall and uh, I think that's where a lot of the fans frustration is right now I'm not too concerned but I was a little bit frustrated for about 10 minutes and then um, listen to Paul he sounds frustrated as well in his post-match that you know uh, we can't see that but that's what happens when you are, when you only score one goal um, and it wasn't for the want of trying to be fair I mean I think their goalie did make some good saves second half um, but I think we need to um, it was two points dropped you know it was two points dropped but I think now we've got to just uh, uh, sort of like uh, recollect ourselves and, and go again uh, Man City uh, under 20 uh, ones on uh, Tuesday night and then uh, Gillingham uh, we host on Saturday so if you did go to Walsall let me know what you, th uh, you thought of the game um, you obviously were there I I wasn't so I'd like to get some uh, fun feedback and really what happened and uh, how frustrated are you guys with that draw I, I'm frustrated because I feel like we should have won that um, but I, I suppose a, a point away from home it is never a bad thing but um, that is my review of uh, Grimsby Town stripped to Walsall and it ended Walsall 1, Grimsby Town 1. Uh, leave your comments down below. Please like, please share, please subscribe. And I will see you guys very soon with another video. There's me trying to sing, but something very, very flat. I'll see you guys soon. Please do leave your comments down below on what you thought of the game. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.